So we're in downtown Calgary. I'm here with Chef Sean Cutler. We're at 118 Empire, which is in the Marriott Calgary downtown. And I'm here to try another one of Calgary and Alberta's seven signature foods, which is the canola oil. Canola, the C-A-N comes from Canada, Canadian, correct? Canadian oil. Okay. So this is, uh, you, you use this in some of your brunch items that we have here, breakfast items. Uh, correct? Yes, so we try to showcase Alberta as best we can and one of the, the great things about Alberta is, is our canola oil. Um, it's produced similar to olive oil where it's a cold pressing so it's almost like an extra virgin oil. Uh, it's full of nutty flavor, it's got a great aroma and we can substitute it for anything where you use olive oil. And you could see like the yellowish, orangish um, kind of color to it. And here, um, so you said you use a 16 liter, you, uh, you use so much of this, you have a 16 liter container in your kitchen, is that right? Yeah, I go, I go through about 16 liters a month, um, wow. so we go through quite a bit of it, yeah. Okay, and you could buy this in stores up here? Yeah, yeah, um, you can find it at a lot of specialty stores, farmers markets, um, it's pretty widely available. And this is cold pressed, correct? Yes. Okay. So it doesn't smell like olive oil, you said I should expect like a nutty... Flavor. Yeah, nutty, CD aroma. Um, the flavor is really unique. It's got a lot of character to it. Yeah, like it feels somewhat rich. Um, okay, so it goes down really easy. Is this going to be good for my voice? Yeah, it'll be great. Um, okay, yeah, because I know people drink olive oil. Yeah, yeah, I think you can use it the same way for sure. And when we were talking earlier, you mentioned that when you're driving along the rural roads in Alberta, you'll see yellow canola fields for miles. Yeah, for you For kilometers can, in this case. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, kilometers. Um, yeah, you drive around the uh, the rural parts of Alberta, and there's just fields and fields of canola. It's so easy to spot that these bright yellow fields. Um, it's 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 as it's brighter than that that oil, but it, it really reflects in the product as well. Now, 118 is a whiskey bar, but you also have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, I, I try to include whiskey into to each each meal period as well, so we have a little bit of flavor uh, and, and everything that ties in together with the whiskey. So. so do people drink whiskey for breakfast? I just want to let everyone know it's like 9 a.m. Uh, here. Yeah, some people might, but uh, there's, there's a bit of whiskey in the uh, maple syrup that we do on the pancakes and uh, a few oh, other things. Okay. Yeah, so. And by the way, everyone, I have the avocado toast in front of me, which has the canola oil in the vinaigrette. Are there any other uh, Are there any other dishes on this menu that use your canola oil? Um, on the breakfast menu, we just garnish a little bit with the um, uh, the avocado and toast, and then uh, it's finished on the short ribs as well. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So as far as the short ribs go, this is the one right here. Yeah. So it's just a little drizzle on top. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna do another shot of this and finish my breakfast. Uh, two down, five to go. Thank you, everyone.